Hello Internet and welcome to Basel Stadium Live. We're here again um, for something a bit different. This is um, uh, a first for me because this week we are going to be using teams submitted to me by my patrons on Patreon. Link in the description in brackets there. Um, so okay, this first team is um, quite an interesting one and I'm realizing now that um, actually teams that you see like through the code and everything, you can't see the, the stats. I don't know how fast these folks are. <laughs> I don't know what the spreads are. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to be sort of half guessing as I as I go around uh, playing with these teams. But um, it is quite an interesting team because the Blastoise here has got Weather Ball on it. Uh, we've got Hail as well with the uh, Vanillux. We've got Rain Dance uh, on the Drift Blim. Uh, I do like the Drift Blim and Rillaboom combination. But uh, yeah, this is gonna, this is going to be uh, pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, every episode this week is going to be with a, um, a a different team submitted to me by my my patrons. So uh, you know, thank you everyone who has, has joined up to that. Um, you know, if you want to join them, then join as well if you haven't yet. But yeah, I've no idea how this is going to go. Um, I I am preemptively apologising just in case um, this week is disastrous and. Um, you know, I, I lose every game because I have no idea how to play the teams. <laughs> this is my disclaimer. But um, hopefully it'll go okay. You know, we can hopefully <laughs> hopefully get some decent games. Um, as, as apparently is struggling to even find an opponent for us. Uh, I guess no one is uh, in Ultra Ball anymore. Everyone's probably uh, already got to Master Ball and, uh, and far surpassed us. But uh, yeah, I've just been recording. Here we go. Just been recording with the... Um, uh, the cursor like a couple of weeks ago, so it has been a while since I've, I've touched my my switch in general, I guess. Uh, but okay, this is um, a team. Hmm, they've got you know they'll have Tailwind on their uh, Whimsicott. Um, no real Trick Room um, threat. That the Whimsicott's got Trick Room. We've got Tailwind on our Drift Blim. Um, has this Rillaboom got? Can we see? Uh, Thing. So we got fake out on this Willaboom. We have, yes. Okay. Um, so we could go like Willaboom, Driftblim, like fake out and Tailwind, I suppose. But then, mm, then like we we kind of want Willaboom to, to go away so that um, Blastoise can come in, really, wouldn't we? At that point, um, could go Incineroar, Driftblim, since mm, no Driftblim will, will be slower than the uh, Duraludon, then won't it? Um, so we can't reliably get the Tailwind up there. Yeah, I don't know how fast the Blastoise is. I don't know if it will be faster than this Duraludon or not, but we're gonna... I'm gonna... We'll see what happens. I'm gonna try with the Rillaboom and Drifblim, with Blastoise in the back, and I think with the uh, Vinilux as well. So, this will be interesting. Um, let's see what happens. Um, <laughs> okay. This, um, yeah, this Drifblim's got a re really weird set from, from what I remember as well. Um, I think it has thunder on it uh, with its rain dance. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed this goes. <laughs> this goes okay. Let's see then. So we've got yep as expected and Sylveon. Okay. So the only reason I would go for a fake out here into the we've got then is if I'm fearing a taunt, which yes, um, there could be. I could just go for a wood hammer into the Sylveon, really, can't I? Because um, it would do a lot of damage. <laughs> no, because like I'm, I'm like if anything, like the the, the recoil. Maybe if the Sylveon survives, like the recoil hyper voice, maybe they'll take my Rillaboom out. Um, then I can get like a free switch into the uh, into the Blastoise. We'll try with this. Hopefully he doesn't just taunt me. Like if he just goes for a oh okay. If he goes for a, uh, a Tailwind of his own, then, um, you know, okay, we've, we've matched Tailwinds, so that's not so bad. Now, it would be good, then, if if uh, he, he Hyper Voices or Hyper Beams and knocks out my Rillaboom. This is not going to do as much damage. Yeah, that would have actually won-shot the Sylveon. Hyper Voice? Yeah, it's not going to knock the Rillaboom out, is it? It is. Okay, alright. Is that a choice spec, Sylveon, then? That does a lot more damage than I was thinking. But uh, we're going to put Blastoise in now and try and do some business. Now, this is a life orb Blastoise, which I do find a little bit strange with uh, with Water Spout. But, um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to Water Spout here. 
and go for a Rain Dancer. you got to imagine he's going to try and match Tailwinds. Unfortunately, this won't... Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, this won't um, yeah, knock out the, uh, the Whimsicott, and then the Whimsicott will be uh, threatening us next turn with uh, some stuff. But um, we'll have to see how fast... I'm presuming, like, worst case scenario, I think worst case, is the Duraludon in the back. Well, there's a water spout. Yeah, obviously going to knock out the Sylveon there. You know, 150 base power with a life orb with the rain up. You know, <laughs> did what 75% of Whimsicott there. Uh, but now, well, but now the next the next water spout is only going to be base. Oh, we've got the grassy terrain, so that makes a bit more sense with the with the life orb there with the Rillaboom. Okay, so um, only just under base power of 150 for the next one then. But yeah, let's see if it is if it if it is a developed on then I guess we we Dynamax the uh, the blast toys. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Drifloom is the fastest thing on the field. We could just go for the Thunders into things. Yeah, let's see. I mean, he's, he's taking his time. He's definitely thinking about this. I'm just happy we've got one water spout off so far. Arcanine, the Triumphant. Okay, Arcanine, the Triumphant. I'm not sure why you're coming in here. Because this is a very big Blastoise sitting in front of you. I like, um, maybe it's banded with wild charge? Like that, that's the only thing that really makes sense, doesn't it? I'm just going to put this so you just see what different moves are again. Um, okay, we have got Shadow Ball. Um, okay. So, Drifflum is the fastest thing. A Shadow Ball should take out the Wind's God. I'm going to Dynamax the, uh, the, the Blast Toys then. Oh, it's a Gigantamax. Uh, and go for the cannonade into the uh, into the Arcanine, and the Shadow Ball into the Whimsicott. Got. Um, I think we should be okay here if the Arcanine protects. Then it's still going to do a lot of damage through the protect, and uh, the residual will be will be going there as well. Um, but whatever is Dynamaxing is faster than Blastoise, so it could be either of them really. Um, if it is the Arcanine, which I assume it is, yeah, we know it is one of the more offensive ones. Um, well, I mean, do we? I don't I don't, I don't know the spread on this Blastoise. <laughs> Blastoise might be modest, you know, for all I know. Um, and then it's yeah, definitely going to be slower. But maybe it's like max electric then? Um, but even still, like Blastoise is bulky. It should should survive this, shouldn't it? And if it is banded, it doesn't have the band boost now. So like a life orb, um, max lightning is the uh, is the thing I've got to fear most. With a help, helping hand, maybe, from Whimsicott? Okay, no helping hand at least. Shadow Ball should take the Whimsicott out. Yeah, it does. Nice one. And let's see. It is Max Lightning. And good. Yeah, so good job we do. I get a Max Star Blast Voice then. Ooh, critical hit. Okay, so um, I guess technically we didn't need to without the critical hit. But um, yeah, good job. Definitely good. Good good foresight there, Barry. Good job that we did Gigantamax and this evil looking Blast Voice with its perfectly symmetrical back cannons, shell cannons, whatever you want to call it. Got an artillery of, of weaponry on the back there. And, um, alright, let's see what the last Pokemon is. And if the last Pokemon is, is the Duraludon, um, it could have um, Thunderbolt. Probably does have Thunderbolt. It's the Diggersby. Okay. Now, I don't know how fast this Blastoise is, because what I could do, just for a bit of fun, is swap the Drifblim into um, Vanillux, and then go for a, a Max a Max Hailstorm. It does work like that, doesn't it? Yeah, that is Weather Ball. It says Max. We're in the rain. It says Max Strike. So would that be a Max Strike, or, or would it turn into a Max Geyser? I'm not really sure about that. I kind of want to see, um, to be honest. Uh, we have only got Vanillux in the back, though, with a Focus Sash. So, because we might have um, quick attack, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna work. I'm just gonna attack. I think. Yeah, and I'm gonna go for this max strike. I'm just curious here, and yeah, I don't think there's <laughs> there's nothing here that Drifloom can can do. Um, Thunder is immune. Shadow Ball is immune. We're in Tailwind already. We're in Rain already. So, yeah, so this Drifloom's doing nothing this turn. It turns out Blastoise is faster. And did that say cannonade again? Hmm. OK. 
Okay, that's interesting. So now we've learned something, and I didn't, I didn't like misclick or anything there, did I? Or maybe, maybe I'm not really sure what happened. Um, like, did I put the, the move through with with Drifblim in time? Even still, I put the move through with Blastoise in, in time. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, we knocked out the the Diggers B. We won a game. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the Iron Battle uh, Stadium. And uh, yeah, let's continue battling. Let's do one more game. And um, yes. Oh, we've we've made we've made Master Ball. Thank you for this wonderful Blastoise team. It's an amazing honor to reach uh, Master Ball here. <laughs> um, with a, a wonderfully, um, again, symmetrical uh, number there. One, two, one, two, one. There's a, there's a, there's a word for, for words like that, isn't there? That are sort of symmetrical either side. Like the name Hannah, spelt with like a H at the end. You know, so what's the word for that? It's a, um, it's a something, but... Um, it doesn't matter because we come across wow rank seventeen thousand five hundred or something. I didn't think I didn't think ranks could go so low. Um, but anyway, he's got a um, he's got a pretty you know standard offensive looking team, um, and we've got a Vanillux and a Blastoise and a Clefairy as well, which you know we can't forget, can we? But um, yeah, this looks pretty uh, nasty actually, um, and at least they don't have Tailwind themselves unless they've got it on bravery because I'm thinking okay what do we do against this um, Cinderace now maybe we go maybe thank you switch controller maybe we go at a moment of panic there because it's not working um, yeah maybe we go Rillaboom drift them again get Tailwind up hope he with his Cinderace I guess knocks out the Rillaboom and then we get a free switch into Blastoise with Tailwind and water spouts and stuff that's my hope I suppose um and I'm going to go Vanillux again as well, too, just because uh, I think we must have Freeze Dry on here, I'm assuming. Yeah, we have got Freeze Dry, so we can hit the, uh, the Dracovish well with this. We can hit the Rillaboom, obviously, and the Cinderace, and the um, Bravery, rather. So, yeah, we'll go with these again. And Cinderace, I'm not sorry for not using you. Clefairy, I'm a bit sorry. I do like Clefairy. But, um, okay. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Uh, if we can uh, make it a good start to uh, to uh, patron week and teams that I don't really know. We are in Master Ball now, so the standard will be a little bit higher, I'm sure. I'm expecting like a Cinderace and Bravery lead. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> Just as I expected and kind of feared, because if he has got Tailwind on his Bravery, that's not good. Um, well... I could go for a fake out into the Bravery to cover for that. Hoping that he then does knock out my Rillaboom. Yeah, that's quite tempting actually. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do this. Just because if he does Dynamax his Bravery, he's not Dynamaxing his, his Cinderace. Uh, and I'm going to go for a Tailwind here. And I'm going to hope, 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 hope that his Cinderace um, does Dynamax. And his Cinderace goes for the one shot into my Rillaboom. That is my hope. Let's see. Oh, it's the bravery. Okay. Well, that didn't work out then. But <laughs> whoops. But at least, um, at least again, at least this in the race isn't dynamaxing, right? and at least we should be getting our tailwind here. He will be getting, I assume, an airstream boost here though. But yeah, nice on him for uh, dynamaxing the one that doesn't normally dynamax. But. Uh, I guess doing that did guarantee that we would get the Tailwind and denied their Trick Room, uh, their, uh, their Tailwind. Uh, he does knock out the, I'm assuming, Cinderace here. Oh no! The Drifblim? Is he doubling into the Drifblim? No, he's not. Yes, okay. We'll take that, we'll definitely take that. Because, I mean, he's at plus one speed, but we're in Tailwind. Um, I, again, I don't know the stats on this Blastoise, but I'm going to hope that we are faster than the Cinderace here. And so, we'll bring the Blastoise out. And... I mean, I've got, have I got options here? Because I could just go for a Water Spout and a, and a Rain Dance. Or I could maybe swap the Drift Bloom into the Vanillux. And... Max Hailstorm 
the um, the bravery? The question is, like, how confident am I that Blastoise is actually faster than? Well, the Cinderace doesn't really matter, does it? So yeah, okay. Let's let's try this then. It is a little bit worrying how it does say like max strike until hopefully the move goes through and uh, yeah. So I mean that that was a bit of a waste of the unburden. Like we could have got a really powerful water spout off there. I'm, I'm wondering like if that would have knocked out the uh, the bravery there and then, but. I'm hoping here that that this works out for us. Uh, if he does just go for another pyro ball into the uh, into the drift blimp, then um, the uh, the Vanillux has got the sash on it. And hoping hoping that Blastoise is faster here, we should deny an extra um, airstream boost as well. So okay, you sucker punches into the uh, drift blimp maybe. No, into the Blastoise to weaken the the water spout. Smart move. And yeah, Blastoise, Max Hailstorm. There we go, from the Weather Ball. And I'm hoping this knocks it out. Oh, it doesn't even knock it out. <laughs> well, it was a good idea in theory. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so if we didn't... Alright, okay, yeah. So I'm not sure there was a whole lot I could have done there. Because if, um, if we just went for the Water Spout instead, um, with the uh, Rain Dance... I was expecting more from you, Blastoise, there. Um, then, um, then, um, yeah, the Sucker Punch would have done, you know, double more than it did there. So we would have had, like, a base power of maybe, like, 80, 85 Water Spout in the rain with, with, um, um, with a Life Orb. Uh, the Cinderace wouldn't have been Fire Type anymore. Um, so it wouldn't have knocked either of them out. It would have looked quite pathetic. So, I mean, I think I made the, the, the cool looking move there. But, um, just didn't really work out. I was expecting, I was hoping for a little bit more, a little bit more from the Blastoise. But uh, yeah, now we know that, um, well, they're at plus two speed, both of them now. Both of them are probably faster than the Blastoise. So this is a little bit sticky for us. Um, so I'm going to go for the, the Cannonade, I guess, into, um, I'm not sure it really matters which one I do it into. Um, if we had, um, if we had, Ice Shard, I still wouldn't knock Bravery out, I don't think, but there might have been a chance. Okay, Yarn Heads. I'm assuming into the, uh, yeah, into the Vanillox. So, again, yeah, didn't really matter what we did there. But, um, yeah, the Hail and the, uh, the Cannonade now is a lot of residual damage. Um, we'll take out the Cinderace, if the Cinderace has got a Focus Sash on it. But, yeah, ooh, that does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Now they're at plus three speed, both of them. And we've got uh, a very sorry looking drift blim in the back without some burden and a very weak blastoise now but uh yeah this should take out the cinderace yeah through its focus ash as i kind of was guessing but not saying um but yeah the residual with the uh the cannonade and the hail i don't think it's going to take out the um the um the bravery unfortunately but i mean at least we gave it a good go didn't we let's see yeah hail and the cannonade It is. It is enough. Okay. <laughs> Still don't think we're uh, we're winning this game, but I mean, you know, at least we at least we got a knockout on them. Okay. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I'm just glad that I got to do the uh, the max weather ball um, and the the water spout in both these two games. Okay, Drifblim. I wonder if Drift Blim is even faster than Blastoise without the Unburden. I'm not really sure about that. Um, and here's the, here's the Grassy Glide to uh, come and ruin our day, unfortunately. And the redirection just to make sure that we definitely can't win by Thunder paralyzing the Villaboom. Um, so yeah, the game is over. Shame, but uh, oh well. <laughs> How does it feel losing to number 17,000 on the ladder, Barry? Wonderful. Feels fantastic. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Let's say he goes for a grassy glide, and uh, he doesn't go for a follow me. Like, this is my only chance, isn't it, really? Then him getting fully paralyzed forever. No, well, there's no follow me. Okay, can we hit the thunder? Can we get the paralysis? 
We hit the thunder. Can we get the paralysis? No. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Um, still, it's always nice to you know know your uh, know your win conditions and everything. But this game is is over now, unfortunately. But hey, this has been pretty fun actually. I've you know this is, we've got Blastoise to do something. <laughs> Yeah, and there's, uh, there's some nice residual damage coming up here, but not enough to, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not, you know, 90% residual damage, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, Blastoise does look cool, though, as a Gigantamax. Um, okay, um, yep, yeah, the, the game, the game, the game is over, isn't it, now? Um, I can try and do the same thing again, but, you know... Double protect, thunder, paralyze. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Um, just when we get knocked out, we do get the double protect. Grassy glide into the drift limb, just knocks it out. Yeah, okay. Smart, smart opponent there. Okay, so um, well, yeah. I mean, I hope. Um, I mean, obviously, I know that not everyone is is uh, uh, in my Patreon, but um, if you're not, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will enjoy the rest of the videos this week. It is something a little bit different. It's, you know, obviously going to be a bunch of teams that um, I didn't make or I didn't make entirely myself. And, um, you know, teams that I'm not overly familiar with. So, you know, maybe I'm not going to know exactly what to do with them. Um, but still, it's different. You know, it's, you know, mixing it up a little bit. Something, uh, uh, you know, a bit of a change. So I hope you do like it. And, um, and uh, you know, there's always a chance for you to... Uh, to join up to Patreon and submit your own teams to me as well too. So, <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you. Uh, I, I imagine in a couple of days' time uh, for the next video uh, with a different team. So uh, who knows what that'll be? So thank you very much and goodbye for now.